It is going to be an upper body day on a Tuesday night. It's raining a little bit up here, which isn't so bad. Uh, Jerome in the house, you know, you know what it is. Uh, we're here, uh, 24, um, waiting on uh, Doza. We should be meeting up in the next like five minutes or so. So we'll get this, we'll get this footage in, get this work, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Peace. So tonight was a bench day with me and Kevin. Program is a three by three bench, of course. Uh, my lifts are at a 135. I'm trying to get adjusted to the weight, which is working pretty well. You'll see it on the video pretty soon. Um, also, did some accessory movements as well. Uh, close grip bench, three by ten. We had a um, uh, machine flies as well, uh, three by three by twelve, and. A lot more accessories for the back, like lap pull downs, T bar rows. Those weren't um, documented on uh, on film, but it's all good. I'm really focusing a lot more on the powerlifting aspects anyway. So uh, let's see what it looks like. So here's the bench at a 135, three by threes today. Finally hit volume PRs. So whoop do. Um, I'm noticing that. Um, you know, changing the position a lot better. Um, I'm really, really digging them shoulder blades right into the to the bench. Um, my feet are, my legs are actually, um, I'm actually on my, a, little, a little bit on my toes and the balls of my feet now, which is good. Helping me get that uh, leg drive to go in. And I'm squeezing that butt to make sure the, uh, the arch is there. And plus digging on those, on, those uh, on the shoulder blades. And they looked pretty fast to me. They felt pretty good. It wasn't as heavily uh, taxing as it used to be. Now I'm finally getting adjusted to this weight. Hopefully I can rep out with this pretty soon. Sounds like a real nice uh, improvement for me. So I'm pretty excited. And here we go uh, for the close grip bench. Decided to use 95 pounds just to kind of get the accessory move for the triceps going on. Uh, it felt pretty good actually. Um, my grip is actually much wider than most uh, people doing the close grip bench because my arms are so long, I'm kind of built like an orangutan. It looks kind of funny, but um, uh, it's really it really wasn't that bad in terms of um, the weight being too heavy. I'm finding you know the the same setup for my standard bench works out for both um, the close grip and the regular bench, so. You know, same leg drive as well, a back arch, and digging those shoulder blades into the bench, and you'll see this 95 just fly through. All today felt really good in terms of my upper body, um, between the benching and all the accessory movements felt really good, so um, it's a good thing for me to keep that up. And to be honest, the um, there, I had a lot of rest days uh, in between. Um, I think prior to Monday, um, I actually took two days off um, of any real crazy activity. The last day like before, prior to that was Friday. Um, we, I think Doza and I benched Friday as well. Um, uh, I think by then my body was just way too fried to do anything on Saturday for um, like a, a third day of the booty building that he's got going on. But um, I think it's, um, but you know, barring my condition. Rest periods are increasingly important, as well as you know, advancing age. I mean, I'm getting old. I'm 28, but um, still don't feel like it. But because of the chemo and everything, it's kind of ages the body a little longer, you know, a little further. So I have to kind of be mindful of my energies, how I feel physically, which is important because the last thing you want to do in this situation is to get injured. Um, injury prevention is a big, big, big thing between you know, between just not feeling right mentally and physically and, you know, pushing too hard. You don't want to overexhaust yourself and something like that. But, um, yeah, the, the, um, the chemo actually, I need to actually take longer rest periods and stuff like that. Not only just between sets, but between days of working out and everything. So, um, it's important. It's extremely important, which it gave me the, um, gave me the the push I had today as you saw with the bench earlier so um, I'm glad that um, it all worked out and felt really 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 comfortable 
and not physically taxing like it normally does. But otherwise, it was cool. Um, I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a good uh, progression going forward. Hopefully, I get my bench goal to 180. I mean, I don't know when, but it's gonna happen eventually. But um, just want to get adjusted to the single plate so that way, um, you know, with the rib fractures and everything, gotta make sure that. I'm not losing strength at the same time, but also not going too hard that I would recreate another fracture or something could happen to the tumor inside or whatever make the case may be. So um, staying mindful about that stuff is um, definitely going to help guide the process going forward. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the that was pretty much the day. Um, kind of a have a chill day. I mean, afterwards it was a um, at the foam roll of the lower body um, in preparation for tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be another squat, heavy squat and deadlift day for for us. So um, stay tuned for that because that's going to be fun. And um, yeah, we'll uh, let's keep getting on this uh, journey. Um, uh, you know, continue to subscribe, continue to watch. Um, see the progress that, that um, I'm, I'm hoping I'm making and um, let's see let's see what the, where this takes us all right um, it's Tuesday night I'm actually watching some tennis I actually haven't watched the match and it's really kind of hard to see but um it's the first time I'm actually watching some matches in a while um, thinking about playing again but we'll have to talk about that later in the future um, maybe not as competitive as before but it's okay. I mean, used to sling with the best of them. Now it's, uh, I just got to do it for fun, right? And you do need those. Anyways, um, so in conclusion, you know, rest, rest periods equals power. That's the reason why I called the, the, this video that it's, you know, as, as much as everybody wants to go ham sandwich on the first day, you know, back, everyone wants to go ham five days a week. The body says, no, it's not going to do it. And let's be real. If you listen to your body, your body will know how beat up it is once you're trying to do something you're normally doing and you can't do it. So if it tells you, please back off, please take a few days rest, please decrease the weight, don't overload me. You only, you only have one body, so you take care of it as best you can. It's a temple. It's a sacred place, you know, so um, you have to treat it as a... Uh, you treat it, treat it like gold, treat it like platinum, treat it like anything that you hold of value, because you only get one. You only get one. So um, that's it. I'm tired. Um, it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. I gotta be up and do some oil change stuff for the car and uh, run some more errands during the day. So I'm heading off to bed. I am beat. So I will see you guys tomorrow for deadlift night. All right, peace out.